Hi, this is Movie Juice. I'm Renee Brack, and how would you like to check out Denzel Washington's latest movie called The Book of Eli? Yeah, he's playing a good guy again, but he's got heaps more attitude. This movie is a bit like Mad Max meets Blade Runner meets The Road. Denzel is a lone wolf fighting his way across a desolate America to protect a book that'll save humanity. Huh? No, it's not the dictionary. And there's more good news. Gary Oldman's in it and Sal Morgan got to sit down with the cast as well as the twin directors, both called Al Hughes. Yep, we need to find out more. 30 winters ago, the war tore a hole in the sky. Only a few survived. Our only hope is in my hands. Put that hand on me again, you won't get it back. I told you, you weren't gonna get that back. What was it though about this story that made you not only want to star in it, but also come on board as the producer? You, you don't find this kind of unique story that often. I, I, I have never done anything like that. this, that, that combines the elements of the spirituality with action and the opportunity for this martial arts work and getting a chance to work with the Hughes brothers and also the getting a chance to to uh, co-produce with my own son. I mean, I think it's an inspiring story. I think it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful story of humanity and how humanity can ultimately prevail when, when sat under certain circumstances where you think you're set to fail, you can't succeed. Um, I wanted to work with Denzel and Gary and the Hughes brothers, so it was pretty easy for me to decide. Tell me what Denzel Washington brings to a role like this. I think Denzel Washington brings what no one knew. They knew he's, we all know he's powerful. We all know he's got a, a lot of presence, but a quiet Denzel Washington with that power. And he, he brings a, a, something that's absent in today's cinema. He's, he's, a, he's a real man. Is that thing loaded? I don't think it's loaded. One way to find out. Look, I need that book. I mean, I want the book. And you, but if you make me choose, I'll kill you, I'll take the book. What was it like to go head to head with Denzel? Very good. I've, I've admired Denzel for a long time, and uh, um, he's very quiet. But we have a, um, we share the theater. And I kind of got him talking about, and I sort of, I, I disarmed him a little. I got him laughing. Oh, what was it like? The world in which this story is set is so bleak. What is it about oh, your- Oh, it's not bleak, it's cheery. <laughs> what is it though about your character that has him believe that the future is so much better and brighter? Well, because he has faith. You know, ultimately, I think the film is hopeful. You know, the future is brighter. You know, he, he, he it's sort of like a relay race. He, he passes the baton on and, and, and sort of slows down and <laughs> runs off the side of the track. But uh, there's, a, there's hope for the future. 